Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we'll be um, going over a new Ultra that was dropped yesterday. So it was a bit late for this drop. So we're here at the official Facebook uh, page of Figure Fantasy. And as you can see, Norris is going to drop this week together with Rin. Uh, most probably this Friday. So I'm not going to dwell in this page. This is just the... Um, uh, the update itself. So let's go to the skills that she has so that we could review it before, you know, before you guys would want to summon for her. Okay, so we're here with uh, Norris's um, evaluation and performance as of the Japanese version of this game. So she's with Knight 9, by the way, and I think she is of... Let's go to her position first on what she is she is a militarist so night nine um one of the hardest uh i think to get the, uh what they call this to get the uh, copies of let's go through her skills guys um performance wise i'm not gonna go through the what they call this the the short version but her rating is at seven 7 out of 10, so a decent performance for her. Strongest strength is going to be A, not really an S tier. So if you're not really into Night 9, um, you can actually skip her. But before you skip her, let's go through her skills. Because I think her skills will interest you. Um, so her attack is uh, the same. Priority given to the front enemy in the same row. So the first enemy in front of her, so she can deal damage to that so increases um, normal attack for both uh, until level 2 at uh, plus 50 percent then uh, for her ultimate here um, attacks attack and mark the rearmost enemy in the same row as the target so um, last enemy on that row mark it until it dies so if the target if the mark target dies Norris is energy will be fully restored immediately so that is her kicker you can actually uh, uh, what do you call this that you can actually um uh, combo her with a couple of units so that you may target the back row directly and uh, if you want to level up this ultimate verse the first one is going to be increased damage dealt by 15 percent if the mark target dies the ultimate power that Loris activates next is increased by 30 percent so very very impressive uh, ultimate and for level two increased damage dealt by 10 percent if the mark target dies it will do a lot of damage to the enemies adjacent to that enemy so not only is the uh, backmost at, uh, enemy hit but the adjacent ones as well so as for her passive skill it has a 30 percent chance of being activated during a normal attack when it attacks a target it will bounce off the enemy behind it so on a regular attack, um, there's a 30% chance that there's a ricochet in the adjacent targets or uh, in, in adjacent enemies to your target. Okay, each time you bounce the damage, it increases by 30%. So it's a good ricochet because it increases by a 30% versus the hit that was done to the initial target. And you can bounce it up to two times. The probability is affected by the effect hit. So um the probability increases um as you increase your hit so level up effect if you want to level up the skill stun the target for 0 0.3 seconds and each time you bounce the stun state is extended by 0 0.3 seconds so there's a stun as well and at level 2 it activates once after the mystery is activated but it does not activate multiple times even if the mystery is activated continuously <laughs> okay Kind of confusing here for the for the part two. Um, mystery is your ultimate, so it activates once after the your ultimate is activated, but it doesn't activate multiple times. Okay, so that's just it. Okay, so exclusive skill. This is uh, her special increased damage dealt by fifteen percent because she's a militarist, and increased on attack by on attack five percent, increased consensus rate by ten percent, and damage dealt by twenty five percent. When there are no enemies around so this is your usual default for your militarist so um as for myself um my recommendation for norris is um she's going to be good in clearing in clearing mobs 
Um, she's going to be good in PV PVE. So some contents that you have mobs in, um, especially for um, the final battle, you have their uh, Code V and uh, you have their Azazel. I think she's going to be good there um, because she will be doing a lot of ricocheting damage and definitely she could take out the back line in the same row that she's in. So that is it, guys, for her. I think she's going to be good, but not really one of your S tiers that uh, can really can really be used in any other lineup. You can actually use her in PvP as someone that is a disruptor, but not really a consistent one. So again, she's rated a seven out of ten. So hopefully, um, that this that you know confirms or that uh, you know confirms whether you're gonna summon for her or not. So. Okay, guys, so that is it so far for this uh, review of Norris. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot. And um, also don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any videos from my channel. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.